Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hockey and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on another team from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Rebels' offense will start this game off. And here's the man they want to get the ball to in this passing game. This is the type of receiver, David. When he's covered, he's still open. <laughs> I'm still, he's still putting that hand up in the air. Coach, I'm still open. And more importantly, his quarterback knows that. They're going to move him all over the field. They're going to feature him on offense. They're going to make sure he gets a lot of touches, whether he's open or whether he's open, because he's always open. From the gun, the running back has it. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. The Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Might as well give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Now the play fake. Trying to get to him. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. Everybody knows when you're running that play action, that fake has to be great. Everybody has to bite it for it really to work. Defense didn't bite it, didn't bite the bait. Went after the quarterback, got him on the ground. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. And the Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Able to get the first one of the day away. They did have to send him out three times in that victory last week. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. The Gamecocks offense will get the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. To the air, it's Sellers. Quarterback floating away from pressure. At the 40, there he goes! Any way you can in your freshman season at quarterback, and he gets it done on the ground. The Gamecocks will snap it on first and 10. The RPO, fire complete to the left. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. There's no getting around the fact that they have really scuffled in the first half of SEC play, and now the task is to try to turn it around. Well, and a lot of times it requires shifting your goals, and this is not how you want it to start, but... How can we win this week and, and take advantage of every opportunity we get, Jesse? So it hasn't been ideal, but there's still some talent, and you can still salvage some wins on the schedule. Yeah, it's all about finishing the season strong, right? I think this team believes that in this last week, 
they were able to sort of reset their focus on doing exactly that. They believe they have the horses in the locker room to win games like this. This could be the momentum shift they need. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Sanders. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. The run up the middle, looking for the score. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise on the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He shows you all of his ability on that TD. up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going to the ground. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize it. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Gamecocks get it past the sticks. This offense will snap it from the 42 on first and 10. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Throws to the tight end. Makes the grab. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. The Gamecocks have this offense rolling. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. On second down, looking to throw. Makes the grab over the middle. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29.
From the gun, wants to pass. Looking to scramble. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. And this guy has been a machine all season long. He is absolutely automatic. You know you're getting three points when this guy jogs on the field. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Coming out with it, it's Watkins. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter right there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. It's a draw. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Coming out on first down with the play fake. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. They'll try to pop the draw. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to run for it. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Watkins. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. The give out of the gun. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. They'll give it to him again. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next game. Tackled after picking up the first down. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. He'll keep it himself. Oh, they're not getting free. Oh, look what I found. The offense keeps it. They've pushed it ahead to the four. They'll try to cash in on second and goal. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Rebels! Up and over, Yamo be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. Lining up to add another. Here 
And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. North Carolina is down right now, but that kid on the defensive side, I know this is a big statement, but he looks like a young Lawrence Taylor. Do not rule out a comeback. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Pittsburgh. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He's got it all right. Can anyone catch it? Touchdown, Gamecocks. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. On first down, here comes this offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. Rides to the back. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to power their way ahead. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Looking to pass. It's dark. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Looking for room, it's Parrish. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. They get to the line quickly. The give to the back. He locked up and held on to bring him down. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. A field goal attempt from here would just be 48 yards, but they'll try to move the chains on fourth down and short is away from one. The Rebels get it past the sticks. Now on first and ten from the 26. He wants to throw. Looking for the end zone. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Going to try to get it himself. Those defenders were seeing red, and the quarterback felt it and got down quickly. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. 
Oh, the attempt is no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. It's still a 10-point game. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. The toss to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's Sellers. Steps away to find some room. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play and the defense brought it to a close. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. The Gamecocks will send out the punt unit. Slips through the line. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute that. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. And the Rebels with the first and 10. Well, this offense is sending a little bit of a message here. Of course, we know how much they've struggled on third down all season long. They're just never able to seem to get into a rhythm. But after that last running play, moving the stick. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's complete. A huge pickup. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll go right back to it. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Back to pass. It's dark. They're trying to get to him. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And here comes the field goal unit. The distance is no problem, but this angle from the left can test you. What a disappointment. No good. Guys, that field goal could loom large. Missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown. We're still sitting on a 10-point game. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Touch pass on the run. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. And the Gamecocks want to move quickly. On third down, he drops to throw. Moves around to clear up the vision. 
And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. The Gamecocks will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fair catch called for and made. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say maybe I go for it more, but Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Looking to move it through the air. He lobs one high down the left side. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Scanning the field, it's dark. He makes the connection. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Here's the handoff. Powers through the defender. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. The Rebels are marching down the field. Right back to the well. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Offense lining up quickly. On second down, he's looking downfield. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Penn State is currently trailing in this one, but there are more people in Beaver Stadium today than most American cities. The crowd alone can help turn this game. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to UCLA. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Shows him the stiff arm. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it. There were big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but, David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. we got to find something. we got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but we got to point to the next opportunity. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Now they're going to throw it. Got it on the outside. It's Sanders. And they're going to lose yardage there. The defense completely owning the front. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Trying to make magic with his feet. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. 
And the Gamecocks will line up to punt it away. Not going to get a chance to field that one, and the punt will bounce out of bounds. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He'll come out throwing on first down. Makes the catch. It's crease corn. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires and picked off. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 10. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, South Carolina! Look, a lot of time left. There's a little bit of distance right now being put on the scoreboard. There is, but it's so awesome when you're a defense and you study all week about what's coming and what routes to be ready for, and then you jump the route and you make the plays and you just go get in that end zone. It is so beautiful. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Let's see what he can do with the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Back to pass. It's dark. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and so you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for you. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires to the right. Complete downfield. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. To the air on first down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. The Rebels will have it first and ten. He's going to pass. Finds his man. It's Harris. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. On first and ten, trying to strike from the 15. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Throws to the wideout. Touchdown, oh! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown and get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Men, it is hard to beat Columbia when that town is buzzing as it is today. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at williams Price. And the Rebels will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. 100%. Just, you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. You gotta give the old line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him, he's able to turn it up and get a first down. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. The Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry up. I just love this guy's instincts, right? When things aren't open right away, he never panics. He just understands the situation where he is on the field, and he's so confident in his own natural ability that he has the ability to run, go get the first down, keep this drive roll. To throw, it's Sellers. Wide open downfield. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. They'll keep it on the ground. He's stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield. It's Brown. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And the Gamecocks have moved it inside the 20. From the gun, running back on the move. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. The defense was in the dime package. They didn't have to send an extra rusher. The big fellas up front took care of that. Yeah, and all dime means is I'm bringing an extra fast guy on the field and taking an extra fat guy off the field. But listen... The fat guys still get home. Isn't that beautiful? The big, athletic defensive line still does a great job getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Texas State went scorched earth in a double-digit win that might have been worse had they not sat the starters there in that fourth quarter. Total destruction by the Bobcats. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. They go to the ground. At the 35, he's open. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. 
I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Caught in the backfield. It's Bentley. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. And the Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy, making an accurate throw. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, give him five on the carry. I tell you what, they're down, but they're not out with this guy. They keep feeding him. He keeps having success on the ground. Maybe I use this now to catapult, use some play action, make some bigger plays down the field. But the run game has not been the problem today. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Dropping back, it's dark. Pocket starts to collapse. Touchdown, Rebels! You thought they were done. They're not. They're back, baby. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. to attempt the try. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Leaves it with the running back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Quick completion on the out route. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Brought down at the 46, but he got 10 on the play. The Gamecocks will hustle for the line. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pick up on that one. On first and 10 from the 38. This guy's done a lot of good things early this year throwing the football. With that last completion, that now takes him over 1,000 yards passing for the year. Caught behind the line. It's Harbor. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. To the air. It's Sellers. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Short gain on the play before he slides. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. 
Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep, and that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So we got the corner to turn his hips, turn his shoulders, and then the receiver was able to just pivot around and make it an easy passing catch. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got his man downfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line, a big play for this offense. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. Leaves it with the back. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. That ball was nearly intercepted. They'll live to tell about it. Third down coming up. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Pressure coming. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. And there's no mystery as to why this team's losing today. They've given up five sacks. They cannot keep their quarterback upright. And you just saw another example of it right there. He has never been able to get into rhythm throwing the football. from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. The inside handoff. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. The Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. They'll run play action. Got it behind the line. It's Sanders. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. Got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn it up there for the first. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They'll toss it to the left. Can't get him to the ground. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Let's see what they do on third down. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Forced out of the pocket. Keeps it and gets past the chains. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. So frustrating as a defense because you got the offensive third down. You're in a situation now where you can get off the field if somebody just makes a play, but you let the quarterback escape. And then beyond all that, you can't even get a good hit on him because he slides to protect himself. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy that slot position. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Now he's going to break the pocket. He's going to take off. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. When QBs are able to do this and just pull it down after he sat back there in the pocket a little bit and go make plays, so frustrating for a defense. If I blitz and play man-to-man, -man, nobody's looking at the QB, he can make a big play. If I sit back, he can still scramble, run up, and get a big play. So hard to defend this guy. Hard 
hitting tackle. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third and short, the power run here. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. Farrell's ahead. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in with the running game on third down? Getting some heat. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Well, here's an interesting decision. It's early in the game. Do you want to be aggressive and try to seize momentum and go for this? Or do you just take the field goal and take the points? So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today from the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. Splits the uprights. Good. And with that, they've taken the lead. And three more on the board, and this kicker is starting to get a reputation starting off the season. Hasn't missed yet. Nice to have a guy that you can really, really depend on. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. This offense is feeling itself right now, and momentum's coming along with them. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Watkins. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. end of the quarter and South Carolina has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Looking to throw, it's dark. Unloads to the wideout. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. They'll leave it with him. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Rebels line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He's got great speed. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. Yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this game. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Off the play fake on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Campbell. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. The play action fake. Quarterback doing what he does best. He can move. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. The Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. After the misfire, it's second and 10. 
Out of the gun, the inside give. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Moving out of the pocket. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammerlock if they can score and bleed the clock. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Gamecocks! And they take it in for six more points. And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paving holes and continue to feed this man the ball. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. North Carolina is down right now, but that kid on the defensive side, I know this is a big statement, but he looks like a young Lawrence Taylor. Do not rule out a comeback. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Pittsburgh. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And the Rebels will try to pin them back with the punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. On the move, it's Brown. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. And the Gamecocks are in the hurry up. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will. That's what this offense right now is trying to do. On third down, going up top. Looking to buy time. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. The Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. And the Gamecocks are on the move. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. The Gamecocks looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. To the ground with the back. And that stiff arm is a weapon for this runner. He uses it and picks up a first down. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. After the run, 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 now to throw. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. 
Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. To the air, it's Sellers. Now improvising. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Field goal is good. And that lead grows even bigger. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, Davey. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Tom. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Grabbed behind the line, it's Harris. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. It's first and 10 from the 13. They're going to ride this running back. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And the Rebels have it in scoring position on first and goal. Trying to surge it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the D deny them on second and goal. Looking for a crease. It's Parrish. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Pushes ahead. Jumped on top of the pile. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. Slams ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss! They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished, but this offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They took it 71 yards down the field. And they closed the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at.
They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Handoff to the single running back. Smashes him with the stiff arm. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Fresh legs, man, and it is showing. Of course, this team had the bye last week, and you're seeing it right now late in the game, running the football, imposing their will against the defense that looks tired. Of course, they had to play last week, and, and you're seeing that right now. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Oh, he dropped it! How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carrier. There was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Back to throw. It's Dart coming after it. And he can't find anyone open. And down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks. That's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. On second down, wants to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. They'll use a timeout here. You have to be certain at this point in the game. They'll throw it on first down. With the catch, it's Harris. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. On second down, he'll let it fly. Feeling some heat. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go, using the quick game. Touchdown, Rebels! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Number nine. That is how it's done. In the clutch, in the big time, your offense comes up with the big drive, puts points on the board. Now you tell your kicker, go knock this PAT through, take the lead. Nice execution by this offense. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point gives them a one-point lead here in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. O-H-I-O. -O. Ohio State is up big right now in what's shaping up to be a blowout to remember. They're up by 29 over Iowa. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Looking for a man. It's Sellers. Looking to scramble. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. 
And they spike it and get the clock stopped. Got to move quickly here. They need to get it to field goal range. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Offense facing He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. They got him. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. Well, points weren't the issue, guys, but they couldn't string together enough stops to get the victory. Yeah, good news, bad news scenario, I guess. Good news is you're going to score. This offense looks like they can be explosive and they can light up the scoreboard. Bad news, though, David, they've got a lot to clean up on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, and welcome to college football nowadays, right? This is how it works. A ton of points. Defenses learn as you go, but you've got to get better. you got to force some turnovers, create those negative plays. Just can't give up so many points. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.